Who would have thought Eric C was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. Might do. Haven't decided yet. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. How, how dare you, you clown? It's okay, Melia. We're not strangers anymore. Well, I... <sighs> you were right. So then you'll listen to our story? Yes. Tell me why you were here. Basically, it all started when... I see. I had heard about the Mechon assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? Is that? You are looking at Prison Island. So that's Prison Island? Yes. And that is the Imperial capital, Alchemoth. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? I do not know, and I've never had the need to. You... don't know? It doesn't freak you out? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. You will need Imperial Sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the capital first. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. But I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Onwards to the capital. Still. What is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mechon defense systems. Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Last time, we helped Melia get her revenge on the Telethia that killed a bunch of people that she knows. Two of them were, were her guards. She mentioned other ones that I don't know what they were to her. But that Telethia killed many people that she loved and she wanted to take revenge. And we offered our help so that she could get her revenge, so that she could kill the Telethia. And we were able to do it. Uh, Ricky, uh, the Nopon hero, joined us. He helped us too. And now Melia and Ricky are part of the party. I'll open up the screen here. See, we have right now Chulk, Dumb, and Charla, and we have Ryan, Ricky, and Melia as party members. And now she offered to escort us through, uh, what is what is this place? Oh, through Aerith Sea, which is which is this place. Apparently, this place is on top of the big tree of the Nopon. I'm 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 feeling like Ryan. I'm kind of confused. I I don't understand the logic behind that, but it's pretty cool, and it's. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And they have a flying city. That city reminds me of Balam Garden from Final Fantasy VIII. It has the same vibe. So the story memo says no one can enter Prison Island without first obtaining the sanction of the High Entia Emperor. The party, the party, head to the Imperial capital, capital Alchemoth at Aerith Sea. So basically, we need the permission of the Emperor. 
uh, to go into Prison Island. I don't know. Yeah, we can see it from here. That's Prison Island. That's the place where m a lot of the visions that Shulk had in the latest episodes are going to take pl place. So they're trying to get there. Amelia is cooperating with us now. And I think, I think, that Shulk has the hut for her. The way he talks to her, the way he smiles, the way he looks at her, there's a difference, there's a change. Oh, we have, we have new monsters here. They really want to fight. Come on, yes. This is the Buster. They're not very strong. Man, and this water looks beautiful. Oh, there are items there. This looks like a portal. And it's so strange that the Mekon attacked the homes on the lower levels, but they the Mekon didn't attack the Hyantia. Or they haven't attacked the Hyantia. That's pretty curious. It's almost as if the the Mekon have been a, a homes problem and not a problem of the Hyantia. Because in the war that uh, Donban fought years ago, the Hyantia were not there. They had nothing to do with that. And it's, it's pretty weird because the Mekon are a menace. And are dangerous for all species in, in Bionis, so... Yes, it's, uh, it's a portal. Oh, nice. There's an item there. Now it's raining. There are a lot of floating islands here. That looks like a lighthouse. Those look like corals. This is a really interesting place. We are here. Who are these guys? Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Melia, are you...? Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. 
I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Lady Melia, he says. Shulk, you thinking the same as me? Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. I'm sure you're right. <gasps> More of these guys. Must report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. Okay, okay, so I'm kind of confused. Uh, are we guests or are we prisoners? Because the second batch of guards looked like they were going to take us in as prisoners. And I think Melia doesn't know that. You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital, do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness, Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. So somebody see, it seems to not be very happy with Melia. I'm smelling politics, I'm smelling Game of Thrones kind of stuff. Yeah. Nice. Dude, this looks like a uh, cathedral. That's some more of the Bionis and the Mekonis fighting. Nice. That's just awesome. And I have to wonder, can they fly with those wings in their heads? It's just a question. I don't know. I wish I I wish the game would an would answer that question. Melia Antiqua, First Princess, has returned, Your Majesty. Raise your head. Your Majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But, Your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. Mm, we will grieve for them. 
But it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend passed down through the generations of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a Chosen One. However, if the Chosen One is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the Chosen One. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. I... Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I am to be Crown Princess. Yes, you are. The Ministries of Research and Records are united in support of His Majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our Divine Emperor but the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes, but a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the Divine Seer were to intervene... The Seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. 
Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. If you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. I'm guessing that the lady in red is the one that spoke to the other lady that we saw in the cutscene, questioning the who I think is the assassin. I, I don't I don't know the names. <laughs> I, the, the lady in red was called Lorethia, but I don't know the the other lady's name. So I'm assuming the lady in red was the one, the, the mysterious character that spoke to the other lady that was dressed in white that was talking to the assassin, who I think it was an assassin. And it's kind of weird that the lady in red is called Lorethia, she said. It, it's weird because she looks really young, she looks like a young adult, and she sounds really old. Her voice actress is, is doing the voice like of an old lady. At least that's the impression that I get. So it, it was as I, as, as I suspected, Melia just didn't know that they were taking us in as prisoners. Obviously it always has to do with the Monado. And there's something else going on here. Because I think her brother was the, the guy that we saw in the cutscene before we got to to this place, to the entire this entire place. So I don't know what's happening, there's, there's something happening with this family. And it has to do with who's going to become the next emperor or empress. Yes. We have never had any contact with the High Entia before. Perhaps they are being cautious just as we would. Yep. Yes. Sure. You don't have to worry. Bird people are not bad. Yes. The ones who came to meet Melia were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? Yeah, the armor the armor of these people is awesome. I mean the, the guards. It looks really good. Yo. What is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick. You're sure we can really trust her, right? You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Alvis! What are you doing here? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah. Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir. I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right.
The life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay, then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk. Ricky, wait. Your Eminence. What God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Shulk and Ricky go help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Here upon Ricky is here to save the day. It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. Okay, they need our help, so let's go. I wanted to walk around the capital first, but I, but I guess we just need to move. And to think that Albus lives here. He doesn't look like a high India. Well, M Melia doesn't either. She look she I I don't know, her clothing makes her look like a high India, but she doesn't have the ears. So I'm assuming she's not a pure she's not pure breed. But Albus is not a high India. Okay, so apparently we need need to take another portal. We we're not gonna go back the way the way we came. There's another portal over here that I haven't taken. Well, there's a monster there. Is it me or does that look like a Star Wars uh, race? I don't remember what they were called. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. And why do I have Ryan in my party? We caught the, called the attention of that uh, monster that was really high level. See, this is something that I don't like. I don't know why they keep changing. This is the second time this happens. They, they, they just changed my party members and I'm so focused on what I'm doing that I didn't notice. Glorolaya, wow, that's a really weird name. And that looks like a Pokemon, like a uh, Stingray, right? I don't remember the, the Pokemon saying it's I think it's from the second generation. But we mustn't be careless. Okay, there's another one. There we go. Fire. Could you teach me how to use a rifle sometime? So that's how it is. Given up the sword already. No, no. Yes. That's not it at all. Oh, let him have a go, Dunbar. The worker finally came to fix the transporter, but he went to get some ether crystals and never came back. You can get to the crystal deposit from behind the lighthouse. Do you think you could go and take a look for me? Okay.
Okay, I'm, I'm confused. Where, where am I supposed to go? I see the yellow dots pointing somewhere. I guess I took the wrong turn. Yeah, I took a wrong turn. And the lights, the lights in this place look beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna ignore him because the the yellow cloud is really high level, and if I start fighting him, I'm gonna call the attention of the yellow cloud. Because Charlo uses either, and as soon as you use either, they, they you get you get their attention. Hey, look, more lizard man. Thank you, Dunbar. Take this. Now. Yeah. with me. This is the last one. Come on. Let's go for a backslash. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's stay alert. Okay, apparently they're being attacked by Lizard Man. Oh my god, there's four of them. And I am taking a beating. What the heck? Oh my god. They're like hyper aggressive. Oh. Come on. There we go. Man, it's so crazy, I can't understand what's happening. Why can't I use my abilities? Did they do something? Oh yeah, they did something too. I got I'm gonna die. You're awesome. Always the hero, eh, Dunban? I'm really feeling it. Sure, that's true. Let's go. 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 I meant to do that to Dombat. Oh my god, what am I doing? This is crazy. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hero Dunbar, back with the 
Come on, revive me, Charla. There we go. Oh, you're going down, boy. I won. I won this fight. Maybe we should stop here for a while. Oh my god, I really thought that I was going to die. Those monsters were hyper aggressive. Oh my god. For a moment there, I thought I was playing Bloodborne with how aggressive, how aggressive they looked while they were attacking me. Are you that? Thanks. I thought I was a goner there. Things could have turned out really nasty if you hadn't come. I'm off to fix the transporter, and I'll see you around. And we save the day once again. And that is the extent of my discussions with the Homs that accompanied Melia here. I still cannot believe it. How could a Telethia have grown to such power? And what is your conclusion, Seer? That the Telethia were able to gain such power due to the high levels of ether in the region. In other words, our ether protection is weakening. And so it begins. The resurrection of the Bionis. What of the Monado? I cannot see. My sight is hindered. However... Speak, Seer. It is not certain that the Monado will bring about our destruction. While my sight is hindered, I have seen a sliver of light. Is your majesty not aware of this light as well? Are you referring to Melia? And the young man, Shulk. Could it be that the boy is trustworthy after all? Kalyan, we are on the cusp of a significant moment. The investiture ceremony must take place as soon as possible. Your Majesty, since the ministries are already in agreement, we may be able to bypass some of the formalities. Indeed. But she must still earn the blessing of the people. Might I suggest the trial of the tomb? First Consort, such a ritual has not been conducted for generations. We have simply not had a need for it until now. And I feel she is more than equal to the challenge. Mother, the tomb is dangerous. Our records show that many potential successors lost their lives performing the ritual. That child fought and beat the Telethia. It is my belief that she is more than strong enough. Besides, if it was revealed that she avoided such a responsibility, her reputation among the people would be irreparably damaged. I must protest. No, no, no. The First Consort is right. There is much risk, but the rewards are greater. It would seal the people's love for her. Summon Melia. Her thoughts must be heard. I accept. If I am to lead the High Entia despite my mixed heritage, if I am to succeed the throne, then I accept what must be done. I expect nothing less of my successor. The path to greatness is fraught with danger. This shall be your statement to Bionis. Yes, Your Majesty. You are not fit to be Empress. Not now, not ever. Hmm. Oh. Looks like we got them out of a scrape. Shulk! Ricky tired! <sighs> Ricky sleeping castle now. Good idea. 
Let's head back to the capital. The sooner the better. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. So Eumea is the mother of Melia's brother, but she is not the mother of Melia, because Melia is a uh, half-breed. Okay, and Yumea doesn't want Melia to be the next Empress. Okay, uh, whoa. So Yumea and Lorithia are conspiring to get Melia killed. But I'm not, uh, it's not clear to me who do they want to be. Who are they, who are they rooting for to be the next Emperor or Empress? Does Yumea want to become the, 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 the Empress? Or does she want her son to become the Empress? Whoa, okay, okay. And did Elvis, did Elvis read her mind? Because Elvis reacted to her thoughts. That's really peculiar. Hmm. Oh, there's a Nether Crystal there. Okay, things are getting really interesting. In the next episode, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to face the Trial of the Tomb with Melia. And let's see what's if we can find out what's the deal with this family political drama, you know? Almost like a Game of Thrones type of thing. And, you know, th this place, man, this place reminds me so much of Balam Garden. I keep saying it, I keep saying it, it just reminds me of Balam Garden. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.